So guys, I'm on my way, going to get my kayak, 2021 Hobie Pro Angler 360. What color will I get? That's the question. Well, we're here, Black Creek Outfitters, uh, in Jacksonville. Uh, what kayak will I pick up? The Hobie PA-12 360. What color am I gonna get? That is the question. Let's go in. That. So, we're going to go ahead and test drive the Hobie PA360. Let's see how well it works. There's the Autopilot 136. I test drove that the last time I was here. Life vest. There you go. Now you're talking. I didn't with you on, on Sunday. I'm Joe. So this is the uh, demo time. I'm going to be demoing the blue one here. I don't know if you can see that real quick. Uh, I'll be demoing the blue one. Not sure which one I'm going to get yet, so that's still up in the air. Will it be the yellow or will it be the blue? It's only going to tell me one time. So guys, I'm here on the water. I'm test driving the blue one. Uh, I'm not saying that that's the one I'm going to get yet. But which one will I get? I don't know. I like the, I love the blue one. The blue one looks so amazing. Uh, and I'm out here just test driving it one last time because the, the few days ago when I was here, I didn't actually get to test, uh, do the video with the testing. I was just more or less getting my feel of the boat. So I'm kind of learning the ways of the Jedi here. So let's see how she goes. Yeah, pedal driving, kicking rocks with flip flops. I see it's walking my dog a little bit. I'm only going to do a short ride because I did test drive this earlier and I really want to get the uh, the money down. I want to get the, the money down because it, it's cost me a good penny. This is the top of the line fishing kayak pushing around 5500 bucks out the door. Holy crap. But man, if anybody, any of my friends know me, I'm a kayak guy. So guess what? That's what I'm doing. I'm getting it. So stay tuned for the unveiling of my new kayak. And thank you guys for subscribing and uh, watch some more of my videos because I'll definitely have the voyage, maiden voyage of the kayak. I'll have uh, 
a little reviews of it, some some installs on, uh, of course, a fish finder. Uh, probably gonna put my Bixby on the back too. Yeah, pedal drive and the Bixby. What? Awesome. Amazing. All right, back to the boat. I know you don't want to look at my ugly mug because I'm ugly. I know, but it's all good. Look at that. Turns on a dime. Right? And I got the whole lake to myself. This is awesome. I got the whole lake to myself. The whole lake. Awesome sauce. Here's me standing up on it. I'm a smaller guy, so it's easy for me to stand up and down, but for a bigger guy, this thing is amazing. Look at that. Stand up front, back, side to side. Good to go, guys. Hey, you're fine. <laughs> Hi, honey. I love you, honey. Look at that. Black Creek's got the Hobie Island Adventure Kayak. These are cool kayaks. I had one. Really cool. Big old sail. So much fun. This one has a much better rudder system for what it looks like. Yeah, a lot bigger. Mirage Outback. I used to have one of these as well. I had the 2019 Camo Edition. Oh, I got it in Tangerine Orange. Very cool. Very cool. Black Cubes representing the Bonafide. Bonafide kayak. Really cool. Inflatables. Very cool. And look at this trailer, man. How amazing is that? Rocking the whole town next to the Bonafide. This one, I believe, is the 120. Oh, this is the 106. So you have a old town 106. Compared to the 136, man, this is a small boat. You got paddles for days. Nice. What color do you need? Werner, Cannon, Crescent. And then back here, see they got their Hobies back here. Still rocking the Jackson. Which one is that? Wow, that's actually really nice. Tandem, center pod. Rocking out the $1,900 package. That's the Jackson Big Tuna. Very nice. Very, very nice. You got your Slayer Propel 12.5. Awesome kayak. Two 
$2,500 price tag. And then you got your Pro Angler. And if anybody wants to see a U pick, look at that. Jackson U pick. Comfortable seat, open floor pan, you and the dogs are hanging out. Very cool kayak. Very, very cool kayak. And here's something I haven't seen a hydrofoil board. It's called the E foil. Black Creek rocking them. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Got a motor on it. That's a really cool setup there. I'd like to see somebody rig one of these out for fishing. <laughs> there she is. OB360 PA, 12 foot. There you go. Now, the big question is still on my mind. Will I go with the blue or with the yellow? You're gonna have to stay just a little bit longer to find out. Part of that, so it connects. So you just go pop, 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 pull the water cooler hose off, and it drops out. Oh, awesome! Very amazing. So here, you just take those four screws off, and you can put it in the back of your truck or store it somewhere where it's not so awkward. Uh, very cool little contraption there. I don't know. I think somebody should do a video of making it a fishing vessel. Put some rod holders on it, maybe some yak attack stuff, power pole. Let's do it. Nah. So I'm going out to the truck right now. We're gonna pull it around the side and load this bad boy up. She still ain't gonna see the color yet. Sorry. And I know guys, you can easily fast forward to the end of the video and see what color I got. You can do that if you want. But if not, enjoy this video. Subscribe, like, share it with your friends. Tell everybody about Black Creek. Because I'll tell you what, so far these guys have been amazing. Black Creek Outfitters of Jacksonville. There's the 14 foot version. And there she is. Beautiful. He took stickers. Can we put some white? I'm going to get the throw some props of Black Creek when I'm on, on YouTube. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So far, I've got the fish finder mounted. So far, I have the fish finder mounted just where it's going to, hopefully where it's going to go. Uh, what I need to do 
was get to this point so that I can bring the transducer up and go through here and then come out here up to the back of the fish finder where it will plug into the back here. So what, I'm, what I did was I put it on a couple of the seahorses or saw horses and this way I can get to the bottom of the kayak where the transducer mount is, the guardian transducer uh, area right there. And now I'm going to figure out how to take that down so that I can install the transducer. This big mamma jamma right there. Yeah, buddy. Can't wait.